create one more sales order here. Let's go to a different customer. Let's go to Bed Bath & Beyond, and let's do a new sales order for them. And I am going to just, uh, how about that coffee table book we dealt with earlier? Let's get one of those. Uh, we'll use our handheld for that this time. So that's sales order 67. I am going to just save and close that. And let's go ahead and go back over here into warehouse management. I'm going to go back into my sales order area right here. And we will fill this one using the, the mobile barcode scanner as soon as it syncs over. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that, you know, folks that are tracking lot numbers or something like that, one thing they usually want to know is, you know, in the case of a recall, how do I know which customer got what lot number? And that's what this field's for right here. You can put your lot number in there you're looking for, change your status maybe to all or to closed, and uh, it'll go out there and find that particular lot number that went to that customer. Or if you're using serial numbers, you put in that field and do the same thing, and it'll tell you when that serial number was shipped out to that particular customer. Oops, didn't mean to hit that button. Okay, okay here we go. So here is my new sales order that just synced over, number 67 here. Let's go ahead and click on that, and this time we're gonna do a mobile pick. And so I am going to create a pick list mobile for my coffee table book about coffee table books. All right, and so at this point, I've now sent that out to the handheld. Let's pull this handheld back up here, click on the little home menu to get out of the receiving area, and I'm gonna go to number two pick sales orders. And what I'm going to do here is view my orders. I might have more than one that's been assigned to me out here. And I do. The one I want to pick is order uh, line number two here, which is order 67. It just happened to stretch out on my little screen here. All right. So this is Bed Bath & Beyond. Is this what you want to pick? And if I had a little memo on here like no dust or whatever, it would show up for my picker right there. And yes, that's the one I want to start picking. Now it's asking me for a ship tag. We are in a wireless uh, world with these particular handhelds, which means we're also paperless. And as such, if I am going to pick items into a box and take it over to the shipping guy and drop it off, if there's no pick tickets in there, he doesn't really have an idea of what it is that he's supposed to be uh, shipping. So instead, we use something called a ship tag. And what this is is just uh, a unique number that's put on the box that whenever it's entered in, it will then identify the sales order and the contents of the box and very helpful for the guy at the shipping area. Also helpful if you find a box just sitting there in the middle of the aisle that you have no idea what it's there for. Uh, you guys have probably seen these before. What I'm gonna use for my ship tag is a little barcode, I'm gonna say here, and I'm gonna peel it off a roll of serialized barcodes that my pickers have hanging from their holster. I'm gonna stick it on the side of the box and scan it and out it goes. You've probably received a box in the past that had a barcode for no good reason stuck on the side randomly, it looks like. Um, and that's what that was. It was a ship tag that they're using to track what was in that box. You can also just write it on the inside flap if you want. And um, if you want to hit generate here, it'll give you a number that you can just write uh, on the inside of the box. And then when it gets to the shipping area, you can just type that number in as well. And it does the same thing as the barcode, but the barcode works a little nicer, I think. So I'm going to hit OK here. And now it's asked me to basically confirm my location. Um, I'm supposed to pick this from my general location. Uh, saying, are you actually in your general location? I'm going to say I am. And I think my gen is my uh, barcode for that location, I believe. Oh, invalid location. Let's go ahead and scan my entire word there, general. Found my right location. And now it says, wonderful. You need to get a coffee table book. Please confirm the item. This is an option you can turn on or off. I'm, I like it on to have my picker prove that he's picking the right item. We only have him scan it once. If he's getting 10, he just picks one up and scans it to prove he's in the right spot looking at the right items. And then he hits quantity 10. Uh, in my case, I'm going to hit quantity 1. And I'm going to hit OK. It says, great. Does that all look correct? I say, yes, it does. And it says, no more items to be picked. What would you like to do next? Do you want to stage it for shipping? Um, do you want to do the shipping process now using the handheld, which is basically I can collect that information that I showed earlier for a, um, a tracking number and all that sort of stuff? Or do I want to invoice it, just send it back to QuickBooks without going through any of that stuff? In my case, what I'd like to do is just stage it for shipping and let somebody else do that final process. So I'm hit ship location and done. And now it's sitting there shipping, waiting for that guy to uh, go in and finish everything up. 